All right, today I want to talk about the uh, tailgates I have for the, the pickup. I have the, the one that came on the truck, which is this bad boy. But as you can see, the bottom is rusted pretty good. Um, so I don't plan on using this one on the truck. The backside is actually not that bad looking at it. It's pretty straight. The only bad part is, is the, the bottom is just so, so gross. I'm sure it could be easily fixed if I wanted to spend the time and do it, but I'm not gonna uh, fix this tailgate. Well, this tailgate is just gonna be for basically uh, art from my garage or something. Unless I need to use some of the, the pieces inside of it, but I have, I went and um, found one at a uh, local junkyard a few years back, which is this one, which I plan on using on the truck. It kind of sucks it's blue, but it, at least it's uh, not super rusty. The inside's not bad, straight. A few little surface rust here and there, but it's not that bad. It does have the, um, like they put a tunnel cover on it. So I'm gonna have to go through, unscrew all these, plug up, plug weld them, and then I'm gonna have to strip the tailgate down and then get it ready for paint. Kinda like I did on the outside of the truck. Um, all right, so the blue tailgate, I have to take out all these, uh, these uh, little, these little button head snaps. I'm gonna try to take all those out. Okay. All these are as little uh, button snaps. The uh, holes are pretty small, so they'll be easy to, to plug weld. I'll just have to clean them up and then zap a little bit of weld in there. All right, so I was uh, looking in the Bentley book because I've never uh, taken apart one of the tailgates. What I plan on doing is taking the tailgate handle off and then the ends, there's uh, pieces that go on the ends that hold the tailgate in, which I'm gonna take off also so I can clean up the, the sides. So I'm gonna start by taking off the tailgate handle. I'm gonna start by taking that off. So I gotta flip this over. And there's three screws, or three bolts, three 10 millimeter bolts. It's the rods that go to each end, and they have like a, a hook in it. And it basically just fits, it just fits inside the handle. So all you have to do is put a screwdriver underneath it and pop it up. Actually, there's little clips, the little clips that go, you, you pop them off, and then you undo the, the little arm. I'll show you one of the clips. Like one of the clips is actually broken on this side. So there's this little clip that clips on the rod. You pop that off the rod and then the, the rod just hooks in the hole. And then when you lift up on the tailgate, it pulls, it pulls them in. And that's what undoes the hinges. This one's kind of stiff. I may be robbing some parts off of that, my other one. If I can't get this one to like be smooth, I'll rob some parts off of that one. So now with that, I think I can go to the ends and take out the, the end pieces. So looking at the end of the tailgate, there's these three bolts that I'm gonna try to take out. And hopefully the rod comes out with it. And then Here's the assembly. This went in like this. And I pulled it out. And there's the end of the rod. You can see the, where the clip's still on there, it's broke. 
and I'm gonna do that other side. And pull it out. Same thing. Spider whips. All right, so now I have these all taken apart. I have some extra pieces then to use if I need them. More than likely I'll take the best of both and make one. But like I said, this was my first time ever taking apart one of the handles on a tailgate assembly, so it was nice to have the Bentley. If you own a rabbit, get one of these. You won't have to Google so many questions. Everything's in here. So after I uh, plug welded the little uh, snap holes, um, I did some uh, sanding in the tailgate. We'll see around the outside. There's that dent. Have to fix that. Pull it. Try to pull it out. Um, there's a couple other little dents that I found. One right there, and then this little one right here. I think that was it. But. I ended up using heat and pulling the stickers off and then sanded this. I'm going to have to either sand this by hand or come back in with something else. More than likely I'm going to sand it down by hand inside, inside here. I'm going to end off there on the tailgate and come back to it. Do, do some more sanding. And then I still have my doors to fix so I'll either pick up on this or go into starting to mess with the doors. It just depends. I need to go get some sandpaper, so we'll see if I get out and try to get that or not. So that's where I'm at right now. Okay, so last where I left off, I ended up going back through and doing a bunch of work on the tailgate. I ended up stripping all the paint off, well, most of it, with the help of Tegan. And then I did the, the back side as well. You can still see some blue in spots, but I pretty much sanded it as best I could. Got the ends. Um, I may sandblast a couple of spots around here to try to get a little spot spot rust out. Um, but yeah, that's where I ended up. I also ended up getting this dent out. Um, there's still a couple of low spots, but I don't want to try beating on it too much, so I'll just put a little filler on it and then be done with it. Um, and then I ended up pulling out some of the, the dents with a stud welder. 
as best as I could. I'm still gonna probably have to uh, fill a little bit in there, but I got it best as I could. And then I tried working this this dent some. That one's kind of a pain. This one I got pretty much out. This one's kind of a pain because it was like a crease in there. So I got as best I could without it oil canning too much. And I ended up putting the doors back on so I could get an idea of how things are on the doors. You can't open them though. There's a, like this, this side's got a little bit of rust here. That's the rust. And then little spots along the bottom I gotta address. Passenger side rust. There's a rust hole here. And then they must have, this door must have been worked on before because there's like um, a mismatch here. And then the angle of the door is different. Like the gap, the gap is good all up the side. Except for when you get to here. It's tight there. All across the bottom is good. Just right here. So I guess when I fix fix this, and I'm gonna try to fix this, I'm gonna try to tweak that over to adjust this gap some. So that will be uh, that will be a little tricky to do. I ended up taking off the inside panels of the doors. There might be plans in the works of uh, changing the whole color of the truck. Um, if I do, I think I'm going to, um, if I do the whole color of the truck, change the whole color of the truck, I'm probably going to come around and paint from here up and then just the edge of the, the bed rails out, but then leave the inside inside from here down from here down and then from here down leave it the 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 slate gray color I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not but that's my uh that's my plans then i need to pull the headliner out so i'll probably be doing that as well but i think i'm going to try to work on taking out the headliner all right, so I'm starting to mess around with these doors to take them off anyways, or the tops of the door trim. It seems like they're just glued on, so I'm just slowly trying to work them out. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm working on at the moment. Okay. Just like that, it's off. Looks like it's just glued on. And so now, there's these uh, clips. This metal trim piece that's all the way around on both sides. There's a spot of it, a spot of it here, and then all along the top, and then one down the edge. There was one here, but I took it off when I pulled the windshield, but I didn't need to take, take these out. As you can see, I think it helps either hold the seal in, to keep the, the windshield from coming out, or something else. I'm not really sure. Can't remember what people said on the forums, what it was, but yeah, there's this metal metal trim from here to down here on both sides and then one across the top. So I'm gonna pull those out and then work on the headliner. started to come out. I need to uh, do the top part of the glue there and then it should come out. Found a nice uh, mouse nest on the top of my pickup. Blush. Stinks. Alright so I got the uh, headliner out. Headliner out. I took out some of the 
it's still pretty rough up there from where the insulation was but and then I took the tops off the doors um, I pulled the a pillar trim off I took the those pieces off I still have to clean out the the gutter for where the trim goes all the way around I'll do that at a different time and then here's the headliner the headliner is pretty mint other than uh, where the mouse made a nest it still kind of stinks but at least the headliner is pretty decent shape it's a dark grayish blue color I don't know depending on what I do as far as uh, color wise on the truck if I do a different color I'm probably gonna change the headliner so do something different but so yeah that's where I'm at on the truck I still need to do a lot more sanding to get ready for uh, uh, epoxy primer I still need to finish sanding the or finish fixing the doors and then finish sanding the doors up and around and then sand down the, the fenders make sure they fit good but yeah let's move right along I just got a lot of sanding to do to get it ready for epoxy primer and then I can go from there so so yeah I'm still still working on it here and there I just need to uh, do a lot of sanding I need to order some uh, epoxy primer I'm gonna do the probably the SPI epoxy primer and then fill all the areas I need to fill and then do some high build right after that hopefully within the window of the the time frame but if not no big deal just sand sand on it and then you can re um, do whatever over the top of the epoxy primer so so yeah that's where I'm at um, thanks for watching and I will see you in another one.